Well, have you ever wondered what these heavy metal paints by Stuart Semple and the mirror paint would look like in resin and what sort of effects it gives and even if it'll work. Well, we're about to find out. I'd never heard of these paints before, which is surprising, but a really great friend of mine, Vincent Ferrari in America across the pond, sent these to me. Thank you, Vincent. Vincent has his own channel and a blog. It's brilliant. I love it. He makes some amazing stuff. I will link it in the description below, so be sure to check that out. So let's get some resin on the go. I'm going to make some pendants and a coaster because I want to see how well it works in the pendant mold, how well it works in the coaster mold. Now before I start, I'm going to mix up my resin. I'm going to be using the brilliant J Diction Times 3 UV Protect. I like using this for all my jewellery. It really does work brilliantly. And I'm also working working on my new leveling table as well. I will link that in the description below along with everything else. It has transformed my resin work. It makes such a difference for pouring anything like coasters or pictures or anything like that to stop it having an unlevel surface. Now if like me you over poured in these because you need to leave a little bit of space to put the resin colours in then just take a bit out with a pipette. Now this is the first colour I'm mixing up and what I found was these mixed really well and as you saw there I only used a really small amount of the actual colour so nowhere near the 6 or 10% maximum you could put in, probably about 2% and it mixed in really well. Didn't react with the resin at all, well certainly not the J Addiction resin so it didn't make it go warm. And this is the mirror paint. I'm really excited to be using this um, with some other projects as well, which you'll see coming up soon. And what I'm doing is the effect, I'm dotting some of these in and I'm just going to be leaving it in the resin. Some I will mix in straight away, others I'll leave about an hour. Thank you to everyone who got me a coffee last month, I really do appreciate it. If it wasn't for you guys, I certainly wouldn't be able to be making videos as often as I do and buying things and to test and try out within my resin so thank you very much if you'd like to get me a coffee the link for those are in the description below so now what i'm doing is adding some more colors and i'm going to continue to add colors in this method right the way through for both the coaster and for the pendant molds because i think that's a good test and indication of what it's going to do and at this stage i don't really know what it's going to do so i've finished off those now I'm popping the bubbles. Always use a long neck light and never a torch when you're using silicon because silicon is only fireproof to 500 degrees and a torch burns at about 1200 degrees and a lighter a lot less than 500. So this is the one that I'm going to be doing where I mixed it straight away and I realised I've got some of this mixture spare. So what I've done is I'm just making a pattern in another one of my thinner coaster moulds with the resin because I don't want to waste it and I want to see what it looks like. So pouring it in, waving it around and huge thank you to all the channel members. You guys are brilliant. We have such a great time. The new competition should be launching in a couple of weeks or no, in 10 days time. And it's Amazon vouchers this time for the members. So enjoy those. If you'd like to become a member, benefit from all the perks and have access to me and a lot of other experts, the link for that is in the description as well. We'd love to see you there. So filling this in, filling the gaps up. And then what I'll do is I will leave this to cure up. But I will add a little bit of clear resin to this as well, just to fill it out a little bit, because obviously there wasn't a great deal of this resin left over. So once I'm happy with that, see, can you see just my mask there? I always wear a mask when I'm making anything with resin. And if you haven't had a chance, check out my other channel. It's crafting, a lot of upcycle things as well. And the link for that is in the description below. So burning off the final bubbles on this, again, with the long neck lighter. And then putting that to one side, ready to leave these for about an hour before I'm going to go in and stir. So an hour's gone by and now what I'm going to do is give them a quick stir around. Now I'm using a coffee stirrer here. They're nice and thin and they're very, very soft and they don't damage the moulds. Going around, as you can see, this is going into a thicker gel stage so it should stay in this sort of position. I go around in a spiral from one direction not the band one direction, of course, and then go in round in the spiral in the other direction. I have no idea what this is going to come out like, but hopefully it's going to look really pretty. 
I do love these colours and I'm certainly going to be doing some other work with them and painting with them along with the mirror paint. And now I'm just scoping around from the centre out. And as you can see, because I'm scooping, it will create bubbles. So I will get let those finish off coming to the top and then pop them again. And then another one here with the mirror paint to see how that affects and giving that a good squidge round. And I'm trying to push right the way down to the bottom of the mould to ensure that I've got an even distribution of the colours and the same for this square one it's gonna be really interesting I hope you like these when you see these I absolutely love them it was a really big surprise to me how well these all came out so now finishing them off burning off those last few remaining bubbles that are on there and then what I'll do is I'll let these cure up for about 12, 24 hours. Well, I'm really excited to see how these have come out. Thank you again, Vincent, for sending me these. You are a generous, lovely, kind-hearted soul. And don't forget to check out his YouTube channel and blog that I've listed below. This is the one where I used all my leftover bits. I think that's come out really pretty. All the gold has come out really heavy in that, which is what I hoped for, because if you remember how I put that in and then filled up the bits, and that's the stir on the top. So I like that one. This is the one where I stirred it after an hour. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure if the shimmer is really showing, showing on that. But that has come out beautiful. Oh, I love that. I'm definitely going to be using these again. This is the mirror paint. And this is the one I did without stirring it. What an interesting shape. Almost look quite alien. I think that looks lovely. And this is the one where I mixed it after an hour. Again, I'm not sure if it's showing on my camera, but it kind of looks multicolored and multi-layered. This is the one where I didn't stir it, and this was the multicolored ones. That's kind of come out cute. I like both sides of that one, actually. I love these molds, these pendant molds. If I can find the link to them, I'll link them below because they make great shape pendants. This is the one I think I stirred straight away without waiting. Oh, well, that's come out quite well. It's a bit more blobby, but a bit more stirred on the pendant side again very very pretty and this is the one I stirred after an hour I think I prefer the ones where I stirred them straight away but you know let me know which ones you like the best I think they've come out really really pretty and the great thing is I did them on my level table as well so they've all come out beautifully and level no thickness or anything on one end beautiful no overflow or anything if you viewed these in resin tell me how you've got on with them as well once again thank you Vincent I will be doing some more experiments with these coming up we'll see what else I do with them if you'd like to buy me a coffee or get hold of anything that I've used today including the link for my other crafting channel then all that is in the description of this video be sure to check out the video that I've got coming up next if you want to learn how to make a Petri effect without using alcohol inks it's a completely different way of doing it and it's really really easy and I'm sure you'll enjoy that so check out that video next take care enjoy your resin bye